Now we're going to look at trigonometric equations and how to solve them uh, for a general solution. And we're specifically looking at equations where we've got the same definition, meaning a sign um, on the one side and the sign on the other side, but we've got different angles. So how to approach those questions? And uh, the questions I'm solving is exercise 17, number B, uh, number C, B, and D of the Via Africa textbook. So exercise 17, number C. I would like to start with number C, and then uh, from there on go towards B and then to D. Okay, so. Let's write it down. Determine the general solution. And then they say cos 3x equals cos bracket x minus 60. Remember, we're working out the general solution. Okay, very important. You cannot say that you just cancel out the two causes by because that means to divide. So we're not dividing. What we are doing is we are saying, well, if this definition cos, that one is the same, that means that we can take it away in the sense that we um, know that these two should be the same, the 3x and the x minus 60. Okay, first of all, this is a positive. So we are assuming a positive for our cost diagram in getting a reference angle. Okay. We all know that for a cos function, it is positive in the first and fourth quadrant. So over here, we are writing out a reference angle as follows. Now we can say, okay, 3x equals, now we're working in the first quadrant, x minus 60 plus k 360, k element of z. Okay. Remember to leave a space or so open. And then our second statement says 3x equals, now we're working our fourth quadrant, 360 minus, and remember your bracket, you're working with a negative, it will influence both of those values, the x and the 60, so we have to keep that in mind. Okay, now let's simplify. So we've got a 3x minus x it becomes 2x equals negative 60 plus k 360. Let's simplify further by dividing our um, both sides of 2. So it will become x equals negative 30 plus k times 180. Okay, so this is our 1 solution. Uh, if you want to work in positive angles, you could have just changed the negative 30 into a positive 330 by just adding 360 degrees. You could have done that. Um, or you could have added 180 because it is repeated every 180 degrees. So technically, you could have written down this answer as 150 plus k 180 as well. Both of those will be fine. Let's work with the second expression. 3x equals, now it becomes 360 minus a negative 60. So in other words, it's plus 60. So it's 420 minus x plus k 360. You bring the x across, it becomes a 4x equals 420 plus k 360. Now we divide by 4 on both sides and this will become x. 420 divided by 4 is 105 and then 360 divided by 4 is 90. And there you have your two solutions to this um, problem. Keep in mind, it makes perfect sense, because if you look at the graphs, it's a 3x. That means this graph is compressed horizontally. 
So within 360 degrees, there will be three cast graphs repeating themselves. And this is a translated graph, a graph horizontally with 60 degrees uh, into the positive direction. So it makes sense that they will intercept quite a few times within uh, 360 degrees. So keep that in mind. So let's move on to the next one. And this is number B. So let's start with number B. It says the following. Again, general solution. And the expression is tan bracket 2x minus 10 equals negative tan x. Okay, so this is a little bit different, but it's not it's not a spanner in the works. It's really um, quite doable. All you need to understand and remember is your cost diagram. So you can see here we've got negative tan x. So we cannot just take the tans away now because of the negative. So we need to look at our cost the diagram and ask ourselves where is tan negative? And we know tan is negative in the second and fourth quadrant. But because it's a tan function, we only work with one solution because it repeats itself every 180 degrees anyway. So we are focusing on the second quadrant. So we are rewriting this expression as follows. Tan bracket 2x minus 10. So that, that remains the same. But on the right hand side, this becomes tan bracket 180 minus x. Because we know tan 180 minus x is equal to negative tan x. Therefore, we can just write it down as follows. Now we can take the two tans away and have our reference angle. And now we are not working in the second quadrant from here. We are just working because we, this is now a positive. So we are just going to work with the first quadrant. So keep that in mind. The second quadrant was just to uh, translate the negative tan x into a positive value. Now we are working from here onwards. Okay. So rewrite this now as 2x minus 10 equals 180 minus x, which functions as our reference angle plus k times 180, and then define your k value. Let's simplify. The 2x plus x, because the x comes across, so this becomes a 3x, and the 180 plus 10 becomes 190, plus k times 180, and now we have to divide by 3 on both sides, so this will just become x equals 63,33 plus k times 60. And this is our final answer if we are looking for the general solution. Okay, let's move over to number D. Okay, so number D. You will notice it's quite similar to the one we've just done, except we're working with a sine function now and not a tan function. And uh, I wanted to do this one specifically because you are ending up with two solutions and it's important to look at the complexity of this, but also um, see that we're not doing something new, it's just the same principles being applied. So first things first, cast diagram. Why? Because we see that we've got a negative value, right? So, and we know sine is negative in the third and the fourth quadrants. So, we are going to use the third quadrant just to translate this into an angle that is positive. So, rewrite the expression as sine bracket 2x minus 10 equals sine bracket 1. 80 plus close bracket x plus 53 okay so we know this will become a negative that's why uh, we can just rewrite it as is let's simplify and then work from there 
sine 2x minus 10 equals sine. And now we have 180 plus 53 is 233 plus x. Okay, this is a positive. So now we are looking at the first and second quadrant. Remember, we are working from this expression now. This is exact same as that expression. And um, therefore we're working the first and the second quadrant because it's positive. So our first expression with our reference angle then is 233 um, plus x will be as follows. 2x minus 10 equals, and this is now the first quadrant, 233 plus x plus k. 360 remember to define k leave some space open ideally uh, let's say two lines open and then we write our second expression 2x minus 10 equals and this is in the second quadrant now so it's 180 minus remember your bracket okay there we have our two expressions Let's simplify the first one first. So you've got a 2x minus x, so this is just an x. You've got 233 plus 10 is 243 plus k 360. And that one is done. Now let's work with uh, the second one. 2x minus 10 equals now 180 minus 233, you can see it becomes a negative 53 minus x plus k times 360. Let's simplify the 2x plus an, another x becomes 3x. The negative 10 goes across and becomes a positive 10, so this becomes a negative 43 plus k 360. And now let us divide by 3 on both sides. So we have x equals negative 14 comma 3 3. Uh, this is repetitive but we are rounding off plus k times 120. And again you you could have um, you could have left it just as is but if you want to work within a positive uh, value you can just add 120 to that negative 14.3 and then you will get 105,67 plus k120 and this would be your final two answers.